coming on the Taylor's Walk project was probably the best outcome of 2016. Uh, some milestones this year were definitely finishing stage 7 to 10 at West Meadows, which was a, a complex site, and we, we were able to to get close and meet program and also on budget. I enjoyed Callaway Park. Callaway Park was a real, like, it was not as challenging as some projects I've been on in the past. Involved in a bit of the civil works there too, which was kind of the first time we'd been really involved in that. Uh, I think still being here at the end of the year, it has been, uh, like I said, a year of, of trying to find out what was going on and where things fit and who's who out there and what phrases do and the difference between a residential project and a CNI project and every one of them is different and unique. So trying to get your head around that has been the biggest challenge. The finalisation of construction and, and then settlement and handover of uh, almost 600 apartments in a uh, two to three month period uh, in the third quarter of this year, that was really exciting to have all that come together. Helping out with the QA of getting uh, stage 41 and stage 10 and all that complete. So obviously we were putting the frames up at the start and then to be there at the end as well. It was um, good to see the job right the way through. Delivering 7010, I was pretty proud of that one. Delivered eight homes on that site. It was a very tight site on a roundabout. And um, yeah, delivered those, those in under time and yeah, under budget. Seeing people move in is amazing. A lot of people, they, they save their whole lives and you know, this is their retirement. This is something that they've been dreaming about their whole lives and we've built it for them. These people have worked their whole life to get to that point, to be able to buy their first home. Um, and for us to have been able to build that and deliver that to them, um, it's a very significant moment to see the smiles on their faces, yes. And see the project come from uh, bare bones to, to a completed product, so it's, it's really satisfying. Because I do meet the clients too, and they go, oh wow, and I'm going, my hands were, you know, had something to do with that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a little bit proud. They definitely like knowing that it's like, hey, you did a thing that's given someone a place to live. Like, I, I like that. And it's always nice to see the um, houses get built and you can always walk through and imagine, you know, what family's going to take this, pro this house over? You know, is it going to be a child? What room, what are they going to have in the room? That's just something that goes through my mind when I walk through these houses. You don't really appreciate what you're building for people, you, you sort of, it's only when it'll be finished. While we're building, all you see is construction. And then when it's finished, you sort of see this great environment that you've created for people to live in, so. Seeing the more, you know, the fair water community grow. I think uh, now, from when I started, there was barely anyone there. Now, when you drive home, when you're leaving the office, you've got kids riding around on bikes and, uh, you know, doing the daily thing and all the parents moving in. And, I think it's great. So seeing the community grow and seeing our work become part of someone's life is I think the, the biggest satisfaction anyway. Yeah, it's becoming a great community fair water now. So it's, there's a lot of kids going around, people out on walks with dogs and enjoying the parklands. I do what I do, I love it. I've been with Fraser's for the last three and a half years now and I've been a part of maybe six or seven of those buildings and um, to see how far it's come is pretty amazing. 2016 has been pretty good. I think the projects also that have been identified for 2017 are really exciting. They're looking at a project around affordable housing, so making sure that we can get new, I guess, customers into the marketplace at an affordable level and making sure that the space is really universal and multi-purpose living, and, which is kind of cool to be able to be a part of that. 2017 sees us on the project we are here on in Cranbourne at the moment. Um, we have 54 houses that uh, we need to deliver by the end of August, so it's a big challenge for us. Um, we've had a lot of wet weather this year. It gives me great excitement coming to work to think, I've got a job here, I've got to get this done by this time, and I'm going to go about doing it. I've just finished my apprenticeship, so it's a big change for me next year. I'm just um, going to be a, um, a supervisor in training. I'm hoping that the Burwood project is kicked off in 2017. I'm looking forward to that project, especially because that seems like it's going to be a big challenge. And looking forward to just continuing the role that I'm in um, and just yeah, ensuring that people go home safe at the end of every day. Handing our terraces over, so in June and May, 
we'll have people moving in the terraces on Taylor's Walk. 2017 will be exciting in January, the first half, because we're settling the apartments. Um, and then the new project starts, so it's starting something from scratch and, and building it into the next um, development. 2017, the, the main things for me will be uh, the early, early works and design finalisation with uh, Edmondson Park and uh, some delivery of, of a sales and marketing centre and hopefully letting contracts on some early works for uh, the main town centre. Eventually take the next step and become a construction supervisor with the other boys. So. Hopefully I get a challenging role next year and, and thrive on that as well and do, some, do something really good for the company. 2017 is going to be a huge year. We've got a lot of handovers, there's a lot of stages running now um, and we're only ramping up so it's going to be, um, it's going to be fantastic. We've got an awesome site team now. Um, great support, great support from the office but it's going to, it is going to be a big year. Looking forward to another September deadline. <laughs>